Hi, so you've got issues with the way the shelter systems are run here in Astoria. Yes, I am. The reason why is because even though you may not have a drug or alcohol problem, when you go into the shelter, you are still mandatory to comply with their classes, go to four AA meetings a week on top of 10 hours of community service. For free, that's unpaid labor. Yes. Yeah. Not to mention, we there were individuals in there that were not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. And because I was not willing to lie and comply with the person who runs there, I'm a bad person. So they lead you on thinking you have a housing option. I know a few people who have been kicked out of the warming shelter. So then I'm like, what do you mean? It's going to be 19 degrees out here. How is that possible to I have know, no it's shelter? it's freezing. I am in severely anemic. Oh. And like this cold, it's awful. And not to mention like the Astoria rescue mission is even worse. Because that's all religious. You have to join the religion. Yes, and, you have yeah. to comply yeah. with their faith and their religion. There's a 90 day blackout period where you're not allowed to talk to your friends, your family. You're not allowed to work except for go to church. Well, yeah, that's scary. That's gonna be scary. And I'm terrified because actually, they actually take sex offenders. Oh, oh wow. And yes. so then they recruit people in and who knows what happens to you and you're not supposed to tell your family if something bad happens to you. Yeah, that's creepy. I'm sorry. And not to mention, because we do not have a facility or any place specifically for mental health patients. Yeah. And at the shelter, we've yeah. had at least two, two of our female residents who were suffering from mental illness. Yeah, yeah. Go into uh, their... Uh, what is the word? Schizophrenic episodes where they became violent. Violent and dangerous. Yeah, so yes. you're exposed to violence from other people than, than all the regulations. Oh my gosh. I'm so there's violence? Yeah. I mean, you're scared. And yes. To even stay in the shelter. Exactly. Or that I keep hearing everybody's getting their pockets picked up at the warming shelter. So they're losing stuff while they're asleep. Their That's stuff is getting stolen. Not this good. is ridiculous. Yeah. And you know those housing vouchers that they keep talking about. Me. Up and down. Get the hell out of my way, please. I had one a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. And there's nowhere to fulfill it. I couldn't find a single place that yeah. it would accept it. Right, it right. Two hundred dollars under what would be market yeah no I, I know what you're talking about the vouchers are almost no good at this point with the market so crushed and everything's in airbnb they're renting it for night well i mean and because like they were turning the uh, actual houses into vacational homes yes exactly so vacation homes they can get thousands of yeah and they keep a bunch of, of people on the streets like oh come to a vacation and yeah no it's horrible Thank you for speaking. My hands are so cold. Well, that's the thing. It's like, I'm I'm very frustrated. Yeah. I mean, because I suffer from PTSD. Yeah. Anxiety. Uh-huh. And severe depression. Yes. So, I have gone to CPH. And I have asked them for help with medication. Yeah. Still, nothing. Well, and the thing with Helping Hands, don't they also charge money? I've been told yes, that they, they charge. So Helping Hands isn't truly a shelter, and they need to stop calling themselves a shelter because they're actually a paid dormitory, basically. Yes, I think like it's, it's like a for profit business. Yeah. For your first. Yeah. And you're still forced to do a bunch of volunteer work. Then it's 200 yeah, after that. Crazy. And not to mention, if you can't pay while you're there, they ask you for the money after hand. Oh, that's horrible. They've, oh, like they stalk you with collections agencies and stuff? I hope not. 
That's creepy. Almost. They just sit there and be like, oh, by the way, you owe us rent. The jail um, uh, up in Portland has been taken over by Helping Hands, and they're doing a former jail as yeah. a shelter with the same model. You heard about that? Oh, yes, I yeah. heard about that. Yeah. I've heard that it's absolutely horrible. Yeah, I believe it. I've heard that, too. I've heard no one wants to go there. Nope. I mean, I'm terrified to go to Portland. Yeah, it's really bad right now. It's super bad. Thank you for speaking. I'm gonna cut it short. Do you have anything else to say? Like a final message? I mean, we're human. Yeah, you're absolutely human. And you have human rights. I believe housing is one of your human rights. I mean, all we want is the basics. Yeah. Food, water, shelter. And you know, it really makes me sad whenever they say affordable housing. Yeah, and then they, the, the, the city council guy is like, it's affordable, it's affordable. And if you say it three times, it doesn't make it affordable to well, people when you're a single mother on the bottom. With four kids yeah, to provide. Yeah, it's not affordable. And no help yeah. from your family yeah. or anybody. How yeah. the heck are you yeah. supposed to work right. to get a house in this you town? You got Kayla, thank you.